Hey guys, welcome into another video. Today we have Squishu Didlu on talking about 2.9 Expo. We're going to be going in to free replays with him. He's going to be talking us through him and uh, telling us, you know, exactly what we need to be doing. So, without further ado, Didlu, would you like to say hello? Yo guys, what's up? Squishu Didlu here. Thanks for inviting me or having me in in the video. Yeah, you're very welcome, man. Uh, so today I want to talk about uh, 2.9 Expo. It's such an OG deck. It's been here since pretty much the beta starting of the uh, of Clash Royale. Uh, it's one of the oldest and much uh, skillful decks in the game currently. And there's still uh, a lot of people asking how to play Expo 2.9. Uh, how do I play against Golem? How do I play against Speeddown? Um, just we will um, talk about it stuff. We have three uh, replays. I played in a classic challenge. First, um, we have um, Magic against Pompeo, uh, Ice Ball. I'm not sure if that's the real Pompeo. Like, if you look we, at his profile, we, we, we he has a grand challenge, so it could be some kind of his mini accounts. Either way, um, I mean, the, then we the got guy has a, 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 a 12 win. A 12 win uh, grand challenge badge, so he, he, he clearly yeah. knows what he's doing. Then we got a lava minor match, uh, also against a pretty good player, uh, which uh, which has a personal best of 7k and 100 uh, classic challenge wins. And then we got a pretty good casual, a casual player playing Golem Clone, which is a really hard matchup, like most of the times. So that you, you, I take it you you put in the uh, you put the expo down. They put the uh, the golem down every time, and it, it just soaks up all all of the damage. Yeah, yeah. and so. just when he um, pushes with his golem uh, clone, you just have so a hard time um, uh, a hard time to defend his pushes, it's, uh, uh, even when they have uh, a lot of bait, you know. So I. I, I said uh, so we, we're recording this live on Twitch, um, and I, I've said to the Twitch chat that um, I, I probably wouldn't be um, responding to the chat too much. But um, I would just like to point something out that has popped up in the chat. We've got people confirming that it is the real Pompeo. So a, bi a big well done to you, bud, for for, for ta taking down the Pompeo. Well, <laughs> so if we if we jump straight into the uh, the Pompeo match first. And I'll, I'll, I'll pause at uh, two minutes and 55 left. Um, and then uh, obviously we can we can hit play at the same time. Oh, I'm ready. Sweet. Okay, so I'm gonna press play in three, two, one, go. So we've got skeleton oh, match. Oh, okay, so so if, if you talk me through what's what's going through your mind, um, and and sort of like what what the first plays are to to um. Uh, to, so to, first thinking, sorry. um, since I was playing against Pompeo, uh, I wasn't sure if that's uh, the real Pompeo. But since I've met him at uh, ten wins, I thought it could be the real Pompeo. Um, at the uh, first start, I misplayed the fireball since I didn't hit the expo. Yeah. He wanted probably to predict my ice comb at the bridge. Uh, with the tester, but didn't uh, I didn't play it, so it was useless for him. Now he's BMing. <laughs> and against Ice Ball, you wanna uh, play carefully, not to overcome it. And so. when they go with the Expo, just play an defensive Ice Golem, and right away just play your defensive Expo always. So at, at which because point did you realize... time, they won't have time to get enough, uh, enough elixir for the rocket, so they can't really defend uh, against the uh, defensive expo. Right. So, and and at, at what point did you realize that it, it was Ice Boy that you were playing against? Uh, pretty much at the point where he played uh, the expo. Since, just, just when that first, uh, first expo went down. It would be uh, some kind of uh, minor, minor deck. Like with the Valkyrie and the uh, Ice Wizard, could have been a minor deck. Yeah. Okay. But then he played the Expo, so. Here I'm just gonna go again um, Ice Golem, then play a defensive Expo. 
gonna distract that um, expo for a little bit more time so my expo can just take care of that expo and my uh, will still have plenty of health so I can use it on um, on offense. So when, when, when you put your expo down you'll have the old expo down to uh, defend your new expo. Yeah, right. I wanted to predict the skeletons here, but since he was just playing uh, his Tesla, um, the lock went into the into nothing. Doesn't matter uh, really, to be honest. Just gonna cycle here, go um, defend this expo. I wanted to go with my uh, myself for an expo, but since he played it first, I just went in defense. Okay, and I, d during the games, are, are you um, doing anything like counting elixir or, or keeping track of what might be in in Pompeo's hands, just to just to make sure that um, I'm just out? keeping um, track of what they have in their uh, hand right now, like keeping track of the psycho. Uh, but I'm not really uh, counting elixir since I haven't really um, what you call it. Uh, my English is again uh, master yes. skill, or no, it's it's it's, it's uh, a, it's, trained. Yeah, it's 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 a, it's a tough thing to to do. Um, yeah, I've I've only ever tried doing it a few times, and it's 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 it's, it's hard. <laughs> um, you know, you, you, not only are you trying to keep track of what's in the hands, but also like how much everything costs, and it's it's, yeah. it's a I I you know big big shout out to anyone that uh, that can actually do that. So either way, um, he's now playing a defensive expo. Not sure if that's the right move. He should stay aggressive against my expos and play the um, expo so uh, expo a little bit higher of his on his part, yeah, so he can defend uh, my pushes uh, better. So it, either it way, going was... again uh, in with the expo. It, 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 it looked the... like he was trying to go for it to, to start a rocket cycle then as well. And uh... yeah, he wanted to, uh, but I'm not gonna let him. So just making sure uh, that I defend my expo well enough. There we go. And, and here go or, or the uh, expo finishes off. There we go. So well, well, a, a big well done and a huge well played, taking down. V Pompeo, like we we we've we've confirmed it in the in the Twitch chat now. It it was V Pompeo as well, so that's pretty sweet. Well done, man. Yeah, thank you. Um, so do you want to do the Golem clone or the Lava Miner next? Um, I'll add it up to you. Uh, if we go into Lava Miner, because it's sort of next in next 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 in the line. So, um, yeah, sure. and then I'll do the same. I'll, I'll I'll pause at two minutes fifty five. Um, and then we can hit play at the same time. Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, so I'm going to hit play in three, two, one, go. So this match, is, uh, match isn't really bad for me. Uh, the only counter is his um, uh, arrows, so I have to um, always split my archers. Just make sure you don't give him too much value. Uh, uh, but either way, um, that's a pretty easy matchup, to be honest. He doesn't have a lot of defense, how to distract my expo. Just gonna cycle here some cards and then just play a fireball and it does zero damage. There you go. Very well defended. Okay, so at, at this point, are, are you expecting Lava Loon or are you 100% this is gonna be Lava Miner? Um... Uh, I wasn't sure until uh, he played the goblin cage since normally you don't play a goblin uh, a lava loon with goblin cage okay so uh here we go pushing so... right now with expo here since he played his mega minion on the other side just gonna fireball the barbarians there we go so on the tower. make sure the mega minion doesn't connect I'm just gonna play Ice Golem in the log. Also playing uh, Ice Spirit uh, right up there. So if he wanted to predict uh, with the arrows, he uh, wouldn't get the tower. Yeah. Okay, so I mean, we're now halfway through their tower. Um, 
we, we've got 15 seconds until we double elixir. Are you thinking about going for another big push or are you thinking about going defensive? Uh, for now, I want to defend. Okay. See what he's doing. As you can see, uh, always splitting the uh, archers since I know he has the uh, arrows. So I can't really play them uh, in one lane. Just playing the ice golem for distract, uh, to distract the uh, baby dragon. Tesla doing all the work for me. Hmm? Now since he uh, went with arrows again, I'm just gonna cycle. Not gonna overcome it. I didn't have to play the um, ice golem maybe, even though I got some damage and he had to play the skeleton dragons. I mean, and you did just get like an, an extra 600 damage yeah. on their tower. So, I mean, um, so, so we yeah, um, I went with a, a pretty fireball since I, uh, since he played the fireball uh, before, that was like for good. my expo. Yeah. I but, just went defending my expo. But I mean, the, the, the value there on that fireball was phenomenal. Yeah. And then just lock and fireball, and that's GG. There we go. Again, another well played. So that was, uh, and that that would have been the game to to win the win the challenge, right? Yeah, that was the twelfth win match. Ah, sweet, sweet. I was well uh, twelve and two uh, since I lost a uh, one time against Mega Knight, uh, Royal Picks, and Earthquake, and another one against Mega Knight, Royal Giant Cycle, which okay. so we, we... these matchups are just so rip. You can't really do against it. A lot. So we, we've any, any going against any deck that's running the earthquake. Do you have any advice for anyone that that, that might be watching in the future? But uh, um, you know, just just to give them something to to take away against that that card spe specifically because it's one like card it's, that counters the whole deck. Uh, it really depends on which deck uh, uses the earthquake. Um, when it's hawk earthquake, it's pretty easy since they don't have a, a lot of counters to an expo uh, except for the earthquake sure he can um, go earthquake hawk on your expo but you can always on uh, out cycle yeah even though they have a lot of bait cards okay so um... you just uh, just go defensive uh, expose try uh, to take spell damage uh, spell value like with the log with the fireball yeah of course of course and if you got a good opportunity where he just um um, goes uh, with too much elixir, then you just go with an expo and win the game probably. Okay, okay. Um, then so... uh, matches like Road Giant uh, with Earthquake were almost a loss, like yeah. almost a free loss for, uh, for you, since they have like the Road Giant, which is obviously a pretty good counter. Then they have the Earthquake, which just screws up your Tesla. Yeah. And most of the time they have a really uh, quick cycle, so okay, okay. So you can really out cycle them too. Shall Shall we uh, head on into the into the golem clone and see how? Yeah, that's good. So, th this is a, an an interesting um, an interesting deck choice in general. Like so, um, obviously I've I've seen uh, la uh, lava loon clone or not lava uh, lava, lava clone quite a lot. Cause it t tends to get paired with minor, not a balloon. Um, and that, that tends to be like the one place where I really see uh, clone in general. So I, it'll be interesting to watch this because um, this this is the first time that I'm watching this particular uh, re replay. Um, so I, it'll be interesting to see how this plays out. So I'm currently at two minutes fifty five. Um, uh, I'll hit play in three, two, one, go. So at the start, I was thinking he was uh, playing some kind of Mega Knight, uh, Mega Knight bait. Okay. Since of the baby dragon of the skeleton barrel, I wasn't really sure. I misplayed here a little bit with the ice golem since the uh, baby dragon is still connected on my Tesla, but it didn't really matter. No, I gotta be honest. Still took zero damage. Uh, yeah. The distraction was there. just right. Like, technically seen, it was just a waste uh, ice golem, nothing else. 
Either way, he's going with a, a, a golem at the back. I'm just going to play uh, aggressive expo. What, was that a BM Night Witch as well that I saw there? Uh, a little bit. <laughs> no worries, if you call it down, like, you call it down. I do it always all the time when they just go uh, with the golem behind uh, the king, even though they know I'm playing expo. Since when you're playing golem against expo, you should uh, never do this. Like, just play your golem behind the king tower when, you know, they have the expo to pressure you. Either way, a little uh, a little bit misplaced by me uh, with the ice golem. I should have played him right at the bridge, like uh, right up there, so okay. he couldn't nado uh, it with my archers. So I had to wave at Tesla. Okay, so either way, it doesn't really matter. At the end, you should have gone here with an golem at his partner. I'm just gonna um, ice spirit and. Skeletons for the cycle, so I get uh, quicker back to my uh, Tesla if I need it. And again, ma making sure that um, you, you take absolutely, absolutely no damage, like against against any kind of golem deck. Like, to, to, although, although taking a little bit of damage isn't the end of the world, it really does help their big push when when they get round to it. So, um, so uh, how how much? Would you say you'd be happy to take on like when 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 they do a big push when you put an, an expo down they go for the golem and start building up a big push behind it? How much damage would you be happy to take? Um, and and um, it depends if it is single elixir time or double elixir time. If it's single elixir time, the maximum I'm happy about if I get some damage uh, done afterwards with the counter push uh, is something like five hundred damage. Okay. In double elixir time, I don't want to take uh, too much damage since I have uh, a better cycle on him. And, it, the, and th also... this is a whole big push here where you've just taken absolutely nothing. So again, another very big well played. Um... Yeah. It just depends on how you uh, outplay the golem player, since most of the time they just spam uh, the stuff behind the golem and just clone it afterwards. So you have to play. Uh, Kind of smart, like oh. playing the Tesla. So uh, first the uh, Scott and Barrett just pops, and then he clones. You just lock it, as you've seen it before. Well, three very very strong games, man. Well played. Um, is there and and anything that that you'd particularly like to talk about? Um, in in terms of, um, in terms of. Uh, specific decks. If, if if there's something like uh, Hog Cycle that, that you would like, j just like to, to to touch on very quickly, just to give any hints or tips, or um, and you know, and, and any decks that you think would uh, cause a a real problem for someone that's new to the deck um, and is just trying it out for the first time. So most of the people have uh, really big problems against the Golem, like Golem Beatdown. Uh, also, Golem Clown is really a really a bad matchup. Then Royal Giants, uh, I don't really know um, how to play this match uh, yet, since I haven't uh, just figured out a good strategy against it. Okay. But uh, what I can tell is uh, with mirror matchups, like Xbo against Xbo, uh, just play casually. Um, so always have ready your ice golem for his uh, offensive expo. Like you don't want to just cycle your uh, ice golem at the back when you know he has expo in hand. You will have a really tough time on defending the exp uh, expo until you get back to your ice golem. Okay. Okay. So, like that's so... a pretty crucial tip I would give for people uh, going in uh, for uh, so... going in against expo. So just always make sure you've got that tank in hand and, and re ready to go to, to make sure you don't you don't take any damage from their uh, uh, from their. Big and then always uh, make sure you uh, don't give fireball value. Like with your expo, uh, play it in the fireball position, uh, enter fireball position, so you can uh, fireball the tower and the expo uh, he's pushing on. Okay. Okay. Um. And. Sorry, so the the uh, anti fireball position that that would be 
um, on the inside side of the bridge, wouldn't it? Is yeah, right. right. Yeah, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. just, 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 make, just making sure, just making sure. Um, uh, there's an opportunity how to get a, a lock on against uh, against spawners or just overall buildings. Uh, when they play uh, it one tile uh, away from your expo and then two uh, tiles above their uh, king tower. If you just uh, put the expo right at the bridge, like right at the bridge, you yeah. can get a log on. Like, uh, oh, so, so it, 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 it ignore the spawner and just go straight building. to the tower. That's, yeah, uh, that, that's, that's actually really handy. That's really handy to know. Um, so yep. thank, thank you for that one. Um, so we've all, all of that said and done. Thank you very, very much for coming on. Um, would you like to talk about the league uh, while, while, while you're here? Um, and before we finish the recording. Okay, sure. Um, this week, I have decided to make a new league, a sport league, uh, where we will, uh, where teams will compete against each other in a two section, uh, two um, what do you call it, two uh, section uh, phase. Two, two v two. First phase. Is in group phase oh, where um, teams will be in groups uh, with. I'm not sure if right now eight people, uh, eight teams in a group, or maybe more. Not uh, sure about it yet. And then the second phase is double elimination. Sweet. So if anyone uh, has a team, we would be interested in playing a league like this. Yep. Then you can just DM me on Discord or here on Twitch, and I will send you the link to the Discord server, and you can find all information there. Also, we are doing a uh, we are doing uh, each weekend we are doing a two v two and three v three bracket, which we will just change up every uh, weekend. So one weekend we will do. Um, a 2v2 bracket, then the next weekend we do a 3v3 bra uh, bracket, and then again 2v2, and such on. Okay, so if anyone, uh, as, as Diddluke said, if, if anyone wants to, to go and join that league, um, I'm sure Diddluke can pop a uh, a link in the um, in the Twitch chat, and I'll have a link in the description below the video, um, so you can go and join it. Um, so yeah, we, um, Diddly, thank you very, very much for coming on. Thank you for thank you for the uh, pointers and, and, and the replays to, to sort of show how to play the deck. Um, and if anyone else would like to come on in the future, obviously hit me up on Discord, um, link in the description below. And obviously also on Twitch, you can you can come and uh, chat to me live over on Twitch. Um, again, link in the, in the description. Stream every single day of, of every single week, uh, 7.30 p.m. live. Um, UK time uh, during the week and 12 noon UK time during the weekends. So I hope everyone's had a good time. Squishu, again, a big thank you for coming on. And uh, yeah. I also safe, thank guys. you on having me on here. <laughs> oh, you're very welcome, man. You're very, very welcome. So have a good day. Stay safe. I'll see you in the you next too. one. Bye.